All right, for the first time, a large section of the still classified Henderson Brooks report, which details a comprehensive operational review of India's military debacle in 1962, has been made public. In fact, uh, smack in the middle of the election campaign, this could provide fodder cannon cannon fodder to the BJP to attack the Congress party. Here's why. It is critical of the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru's Speaking office the and Defence Ministry, particularly for its forward policy, which according to the report was enforced despite objections from the ground military commands that lacked necessary resources. In fact, the Indian government has classified the report uh, as classified and the political class needs to keep it uh, a secret can be explained by the contents of the report that have been uploaded by Australian journalist who says that the reasons for the long-term withholding of the report must be political, indeed probably partisan, perhaps even familial. Deputy Editor India Today Sandeep Punyathan is now joining us uh, with a perspective on what uh, this report could actually mean in the middle of election campaign. Sandeep, can you help us understand that this uh, report that has so far been classified and only bits of content now known to us, will they have really have an impact on the election campaign? First of all, help us understand that. Well, uh, Maha, if you see what uh, Neville Maxwell has put on his website, he very clearly indicates he's puzzled at the reason why the report is not being declassified even half a century later. And he, uh, he indicates a very interesting line. He says that the reasons for the long-term withholding of the report must be political, indeed probably partisan, perhaps even familial, he says, So, which in clearly seems to indicate uh, that responsibility for the military defeat was pinned on the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru. And uh, this is one reason he probably believes that the report has not been declassified till date. The, the report which was given to the government, as you know, in 1963, blames the uh, army's defeat in the northeast on the Indian army and the political hierarchy of the day. It explains why an entire division of 15,000 soldiers collapsed and retreated from Tawang and an infantry brigade of 3,000 soldiers was overrun by the Chinese and these, these uh, are very startling facts. I mean, it's India's worst military defeat and uh, the report seems to indicate it was the failure of the higher organizations, the higher leadership of the army, the political establishment of the day that were to blame and indeed okay. if this were to come out in the middle of the election season now, it would give uh, the opposition a very, very big uh, stick to beat the government with. All right. Uh, defense expert Bharat Varma is also on the phone line with us. Sandeep, I'd request you to stay on with us for a moment. Uh, Mr. Bharat Varma, as Sandeep Unnithan is pointing out there, that uh, one of the reasons why this report... Uh, has been kept classified and as is being quoted by the Australian journalist is that it could have political ramifications. Now, bang in the middle of the elections, how do you view this, uh, the contents that have come out? The, the fact is this report should not have been hidden. It has been hidden because it tries to uh, hide the role of Jawaharlal Nehru and uh, his defense minister that was played, which bamboozled the army into taking some foolish positions also by appointing a supply corps general who was uh, related to Nehru. So it was a great Nehruvian blunder of 1962, which humiliated India. Now, whether it comes out now, it is not coming out from government of India. It is coming out from Naval Maxwell from uh, United Kingdom bloc. Mm -hmm. And it comes out now, or it, the, uh, the country has a right to know what happened. Mm -hmm. What is not as important is whether it comes out now during election or it had come out before. The, 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 there has to be a transparency. Why are we hiding the fact that there was a prime minister who led this country down, an army which has never lost any war for 200 years was humiliated because of his foolishness. And the man died in 1964 in that shock. So the country has a right to know. The country must know. And today... You cannot hide these things uh, by suppressing it for too long. And it is time that we start facing the fact that there were problems and we start taking corrective measures. Okay. We start improving the civil-military relationship. It has nothing to do with government X, Y, Z. What it has to do is that the military cannot 
and should not be employed without understanding the employment of military power professionally. So mm -hmm. best is to leave it to the professionals. Okay. Mr. Bharat Verma, I'd request you as well to stay on with us. We are now connecting with our strategic affairs editor, Gaurav Savant. Gaurav, can you help us understand the kind of mistakes that this classified report says India made, which could be perhaps crucial during these elections? Well, politically, it will have its, its implications. Uh, but as Captain Bharat Verma was rightly pointing out, the nation has a right to know where we went wrong uh, in 1962. Uh, those in the army who access this report uh, confide that this report does not indict a government, it indicts how there, were, there was interference in matters military, how wrong decisions were taken, uh, whether whether it's in Arunachal Pradesh, current Arunachal Pradesh, the Northeast Frontier Agency at that time, and how interference in, uh, you know, higher military management, poor generalship led to that disaster in 1962. Uh, the opposition uh, naturally will try and exploit the situation and in to an extent that, uh, you know, the situation does exist, that the problems that this country and the army faced in 1962, to an extent we faced, uh, we faced the same problems in the year 2014. So it is not government A or government B, as Captain Verma rightly pointed out, but it is a complete lack of appreciation of higher defense management and the way the country needs to be protected that the civil-military relationship does not seem to appreciate. Sandeep Unitan, I'd like to come back to you for a moment. Does uh, this report make any scathing remarks against the then Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru, if we can get some specifics of that? Well, uh, we don't know for sure because all we have is Neville Maxwell's own uh, statement where he says he probably feels that the reasons of familial pressures that are forcing the government not to reveal the report because as you know, uh, the Prime Minister, uh, as Gaurav said, the uh, Army Chief at, uh, of the, the, the Corps Commander was a relative of the Prime Minister. And uh, it's quite possible that uh, this is one reason that the uh, failure of the operation will be laid on the doorstep of the Prime Minister of the day. And uh, uh, there are, I mean, it is, the, the report is, is probably, I mean, it is, it is, it contains pr practically every signal, every uh, uh, communication that was made between the army headquarters. In that sense, it is pro possibly the most comprehensive account of any Indian military operation okay. since independence. Okay. And uh, it is, and, and the people who have read the report, there are a handful of them in South Block, they say that the conclusions are devastating and it's in, it has indicted the military hmm. leadership of the day and right. by default the political leadership. All right, uh, retired Major General Sheru Thaplia is also with us on the phone line, sir. Defense expert Bharat Verma says the country has a right to know what went wrong in 1962, and certainly that is something that most would agree with. But can this uh, have political ramifications at this point, just a month ahead of the general elections? See, look, I agree with him entirely that the country. Eh? has a right to know as to what exactly happened in 62 and why was there a debacle in uh, in NIFA. Now, as far as the implications now are concerned, at the time of election, well, just too bad. Now the report has been declassified some by somebody somewhere. So it is in public knowledge now. And whatever be the ramifications, I don't think anybody can stop them. Major General Sheru Thaplyal, even though the contents of this report might not have been known to people, but there certainly would have been experts who have been uh, actually looking at the debacle of 1962. So clearly, despite those uh, discussions, can 50 years later a report of this nature make an impact? Unlikely. It's a way of looking at it, actually. If you look at it in a manner that let us it will help us correct the system then it is a positive way of looking at it but you are trying to hide it and you know government of the day feels that uh, their hierarchy at that point in time is getting blamed for the uh, whatever took place there then it's a different matter also then you will never be able to correct yourself Bharat Verma, if you're there with us, I'd like to come back to you and take the same question. 50 years down the line, what impact can it really make? Bharat Verma, are you there with us? 
All right, we seem to have lost our link there with Bharat Parma. Let me quickly recap uh, what we are telling our viewers at this point in time is about the Henderson Brooks uh, report, in fact, that was on the debacle of 1962. Uh, classified report in fact uh, contents of that uh, briefly made uh, public by an Australian journalist uh, strategic affairs editor Gaurav Savant is still with us to help us understand uh, the ramifications of uh, some of those contents coming out at uh, this uh, point in time just ahead of the elections Gaurav what I'd like to understand from you is that uh, you know, the, the, you know how much does foreign policy and an issue like 1962 really impact elections in India? Well, uh, to a large extent, foreign policy is incident uh, 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 from elections. It is, it is, uh, uh, you know, a national policy. Uh, leaders give a personal initiative, a personal fillip, uh, like the Prime Minister uh, Dr. Manmohan Singh tried uh, with with both United States and with Pakistan uh, to an extent with China, uh, like the way uh, Vajpayee had tried uh, with Pakistan in Lahore. So, uh, you know, the, the political leaders give a fillip. As far as uh, the, the 1962 war. The Henderson Brooks report is concerned. Uh, bigger than political ramifications at this point of time uh, is the fact that will it uh, actually bring about a change in civil military relationship? Will either government understand whichever is the government of the day that comes? Uh, this hasn't been leaked uh, uh, or put online uh, by any of the political parties. It's been written by a, it's been put online by a journalist who had access to it in the early 1960s. In the sense, 1963, this report came out. Uh, Neville Maxwell wrote a book on it. Uh, 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 India's China war and subsequently uh, there are several in, in the military hierarchy who have had access to this report in strictest confidence, the army the, the bigger issue that remains as Sandeep Unithan was also pointing out uh, was for example Prime Minister of the day uh, uh, Pandit Jawaharlal Nehru his direct interference in military appointments General Paul, somebody who was a favourite of his was appointed as a corps commander with no military uh, experience in command uh, uh, you know a corps uh, a corps was created in the middle of a war General Paul fell ill but he still tried to command his corps uh, while sitting in, in, in Delhi uh, York Road uh, in, in Delhi uh, then for example how is it that okay. an entire division of the Indian army ran away from battle and this is something you know the, a division commander running away from battle Battle okay. in 1962 was unheard of. A mm -hmm. military commander was taken prisoner of war. Right. So these are lessons that the nation must know okay. and what are corrective measures that have been taken irrespective of which political party was there. Okay. Uh, and very important lessons but if, if the report is out politicization will happen in an election year. All right. Gaurav Savan, Sandeep Unithan, Bharat Varma and uh, Major General Sheru Thaplial of all of you many thanks for getting us a perspective on that explosive report.